Hello and welcome to Sword Legacy Omen. This is a reimagining of the King Arthur story where we play as Uther. And I'm very interested to see exactly what's going on with it because I had not heard of this game for quite some time. And I think a lot more people should know about it. So let's play a new game. If you'd like to check out the game, there's a link in the description as always. Otherwise, let's start. Many are the chivalrous tales of Arthur. Uther and Excalibur, yet such heroic feats hide the secrets of the true legend. Long ago, before Arthur's golden age, I witnessed the tragedy of Desire's corruption. We were then a broken Britannia, void of hope. It took place on that fateful day while Uther, Knight Commander of Mercia, trained his squire and page. Unheralded, Merlin, the cryptic sorcerer, arrived with urgent matters to discuss. The old man told of a grave vision. A time of chaos and despair was imminent. Yet before he could impart more, a deafening blast shook the citadel. Black-clad soldiers swarmed in with the aid of traitorous nobles and ravaged all in their way. The invaders stormed the throne room and forced Princess Ygraine to watch. Her father, Lord Leif, was murdered right before her eyes. When Uther and Merlin arrived, it was too late. Naught but a bloody mess confronted them. The death of his lord seared the knight's soul, but Merlin urged a distraught Uther down the dungeon stairs with but a single ray of hope. Ygraine may yet live, and thus our tale begins. All right, so, caught off guard by a surprise attack, Sir Uther was unable to protect his lordship when the onslaught began. The invasion was merciless. Troops stormed the main hall while spies murdered harmless servants in cold blood. Lord Leof's reign was no more, but Lady Igraine could still be alive. Alongside Merlin, the knight commander desperately charged down the dungeon stairs. Fate, however, had other plans. It can't be. Leof is dead. And Igraine. It can, and it is. To secure the princess, we must formulate a strategy. Strategy? To hell with that bloody calm. Your pointless meeting brought this doom upon us. I too was tricked, Prince Slayer. My vision was unclear. A ruse, perhaps. We were betrayed, Merlin. Whoever it was, I'll gut them all to save Igraine. Thing, fool, would she be safe amidst your mindless bloodbath? More than now as we speak. Help me find her and we'll escape this bloody nightmare. Alright, so, when not in combat, you're free to move and explore. Investigate the area with the selected hero and the party automatically follows. Find loot and collect lore by clicking on the interaction icons. So, if you don't know anything about the game or if you haven't yet visited the store page, this is a turn-based tactical RPG. Let's move. Ah, uh, we found a notice board. Report for duty. Due to recent bandit activity in the region, the Guard of Mercia is facing a contingent scarcity. All knights must report for reassignment and all recruits for training at once. Our numbers are few, but this is no excuse to ensure the safety of our realm. There is a burglar still at large, apparently, a, si a simple female pickpocket. Therefore, the guard of Mercia is giving out a handsome reward of 500 gold pieces. Aha, uh -huh, okay. So, there's actually a chest over there. Let's read this note first, though. Hailing from Anglia, this new religion believes not in the gods, but in a single all-powerful goddess, Terra, the embracing mother. The Order of Terra, as they call themselves, began as a paltry cult, but has grown significantly in recent years thanks to the goodwill of the Anglia's ruler, Lord Edma. This parchment is filled with prayers for Terra, asking for deliverance, redemption, and the soothing of one's pains. 
What she asks for in return, however, is much grander, surrendering one's existence to her grace. All right, we gained some renown for that. Not entirely sure what renown does yet, but we'll find out. All right, so we're finding some things. We found a campfire kit, and we also found herbal balm. All right, we'll take all on that. Thanks very much. Okay, there's a door there. There's a locked door. Not going to be able to open that. No good. Bloody clasp won't budge without a key, and I'm no lock picker. Well, what about Merlin? <laughs> he might. Okay, so let's see what's happening over here. Is that a... Ah, is that an enemy? Ah, no, it's not. So Uther, thank the gods. Dwayne, you are alive. Thanks the gods as well, but where's Britta? She left to defend the East Corridor and locked us here, sire. It appears we're trapped in here, Prince Slayer. Again with the wise remarks, Merlin. Put your damned sorcery to use and get us out of here. Oi, mister. Looks like you're in deep shit, but I could help if... <laughs> Hey, you. Silence. <laughs> Silence. Uh, I mean, uh, that's, that's Merlin's voice. Uh, <laughs> yeah, You could run in that cell, thief. Uh, hand me the spare key. There is no spare key, sir. Sweet Terra, praise be her name. What did I say? Uh, enough theatrics, Gwen. A fate far worse than death awaits, and your humorous quips won't save us. Oh, is that, is that, is that Guinevere or something? What? Who are you? Do I know you? But you can but you can aid us would you kindly open your cell door huh. all right so uh du duane or duan has joined us as well as gwen the devious thief all right so she can obviously open up locks as you can see right there there you crazy vagrant happy merlin how did you never mind everyone stick close all right so uh yeah i'm gonna just uh, actually, you know what? We're going to stay with the thief because she's going to be able to open up all these doors. I'm wondering whether there's anything else. Yes, there we go. Law objects are going to be very useful for us. Let yourself get caught. Mm-hmm. Let yourself get caught. That's what it says in, in backwards writing, of course. All right, let's uh, open up this one. There must be something else in here. Yes. Now, there we go, we got some gold, nice. And we also have another law object, a bounty notice. Members of the Order of Terror are branded as outlaws. This note declares that all members of the rebellious Order of Terror are now wanted criminals. According to the document, they are charged with public disorder and treason against the Lord of Anglia. A reward of 350 gold pieces is promised for every dead agitator or 550 gold pieces for each live one. Right. Even monks got a price on their heads? What is this, the Dark Ages? Hmm, conspirators in Anglia as well. Apparently. Alright, so we can go in there or open up this door. I don't know where this goes, so we'll just open it up. Oh dear. For the well of Wessex, all uh, kill all who stand in our way. Wessex, I'll crush you, you murdering bastards. Or cowards, even. Combat mode is turn-based and relies on action points. You may freely switch between heroes, move, or use skills during your turn, provided you have enough AP. Left mouse button selects the skill, and right mouse button returns to movement. To end your turn, click on the hourglass. Okay, good to know. Strategic positioning. Always pay attention to the direction and placement of characters on the battlefield. To avoid back attacks, use right mouse button to click on the direction the selected hero should face. This action costs no action points. That's good to know. And willpower is a hero's morale. Spend it to gain plus two attack, defense, or action points once per turn. Willpower points are regained resting and defeating enemies. Characters who run out of willpower may panic. And ah, we have Overwatch as well. Overwatch, the hero ends their set, uh, turn setting an Overwatch area to face. The remaining AP is safe for the enemy turn. When an enemy enters the Overwatch area, the hero immediately spends three AP and deals one opportunity attack. All right, so uh, I guess we should just move out there then. And we'll put Merlin behind everyone. Is this uh, something I can do? Yes, I can do that. Oh. That's just... Ah, that would have been useful to do beforehand, actually, old man. Okay. Well, whatever the case, I guess that means we can actually attack him then. Can't we? Maybe. 
Boom. <laughs> Such a little amount of damage. All right, thrust. Distance is key. They can't kill you if they can't reach you. Technically, I could do this, but this, as you can see, is out of range, so that's not going to work. So we're just going to have to go on to the next character here. Uh, yeah, she's got 10 AP, which is going to be pretty crazy. I'm going to attack from behind here. Oh, so much damage. She can attack again as well. Boom, dead. Wow. Okay, yeah, she is really, really powerful. When you get behind people, the backstab damage is kind of crazy. All right, so let's open up this because we didn't do that before, and there's probably a lore object in here or something. No? Nothing? Oh, wow. Okay, kind of interested about that. That's weird. And let's open up this because we can easily enough. There's bound to be something in here, probably a sword or something. Aha, and there's the sword, yes. Knight's broadsword, equipable by the knight. I'm wondering whether that's actually better than what we currently have. We also have a helmet, and there's something there that the thief can open. There we go, and what is that? That's an amethyst. Ah, oh, nice. Okay, so does that mean that we can now go into our inventory? Where's the inventory? Press I. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so what are we using? Soldier's Blade. Okay, so this is Uther, the Fallen Knight. The Eldritch Sorcerer. The Loyal Lancer and the Devious Thief. Okay, so yeah, she's using that. All right, so that means that we should use this and the helmet. There we go. Nice. Oh, that gives him so much extra resistance. That's really, really good. So he is definitely the tank of the group, obviously. So we're going to try and keep him at the front line as much as possible. Right, I have a bad feeling about this. Ah, uh, Sire. Britta, no. Sire, they took Lady Egraine. I, I, I failed you. My squire, it is I who failed my vows, but there's still hope. No, uh, they're, they're, they're coming. We won't make it. We're not leaving you behind. Britta, there's no time, please. We must save Lady Egraine. But, uh, very well, sire. I'll, I'll be right behind you. Alright, so, yeah, hopefully we... we well, is it... Are they dead? I'm not sure. <laughs> anyway. Ah, uh, okay, so we have to... Uh, we have to read this backwards again. Make them pay, send the signal when he meets the slayer. Follow the old fool uh-huh follow the old fool interesting great well this is uh, yeah this is terrible oh look at this everyone's dead can we go this way i pledge to defend those who uh, cannot defend themselves uh i i think th i think this person is wounded super super badly i pledge to uphold justice and never recoil but before my enemy. I pledge to be the champion of valor uh, against all evil. Wow. I'm sorry, Sir Uther. It, it's my oath. Tell Gwen to consider my words. Oh, wow. Okay. So, I, I guess he is... Uh, oh, he, he killed himself? Did he? Or is he? Oh, no, he's fighting. I think he's fighting. No, Britta, this can't be. Yeah, it seems like there were enemies behind us, and uh, they wanted to defend us. Now we can't see anything else that's going on in there. But we do have the ability to have a look at... Oh, this is a save point. Quests contain checkpoints which save your progress. Once activated, you may reload a checkpoint at any time during that quest. Okay, well, that's actually good to know. Let's go and uh, do that. And then we'll take our little thief. And she will open up the chest. What do we have here? Golden Locket. This is equipable by everyone. It reduces defense but increases body point total. Not entirely sure 
what that means at this point because we have our body. Mm, body is HP, of course. So lowers defense. Mm, do, uh, do, does she have? Yeah, she has four defense. So it's basically. Uh, I would say it's probably good for Merlin, but he already has a small amount of defense. Mm, not entirely sure what to do with that. But I guess we'll find out a little bit later on. Ah, now we are ready to fight. You'll find many objects scattered throughout quests. They are strategic tools against your enemies. Take cover, push, or strike them to spread hazards throughout the battlefield. Hold shift and click right mouse button to open a profile with the selected enemy's attributes, skills, and bio. This is the best way to study your foes, learn their strengths and weaknesses. Alright, so if we try that right now, that basically means that I can have a look at the Wessex Lancer right here. And as you can see, doesn't really have any talents. He's got a lunge attack, which means he can attack from two tiles away. And that's basically it. But you know what we can do? Oh yeah, this is going to be kind of insane. Boom. <laughs> I think that's absolutely hilarious. Merlin being able to do that is just crazy cool. And he can actually then use another attack, but he can't do that just yet. So I think what I'm going to do is move him probably over here. And can we do Overwatch? Yeah, we can do Overwatch. Let's do Overwatch in this direction. And now what we're going to do is we're literally just going to kill this guy super quickly. Boom. And another attack. Boom, dead. Okay, the archer is already done. Let's pick up the gold. And it also means that we will, theoretically, we could, not enough AP to push it. Ah, now I'm disappointed. Oh, well, never mind. Let's take our Lancer. Can we push it? Mm, that wasn't exactly what I intended, but okay. I don't, I, I guess I don't really mind. Anyway, let's go and see if we can do something here. What is this? Ah, shield shove. I wonder whether you can shove items with this. That might actually make sense. But anyway, let's just do that. There we go. That actually did a pretty decent amount of damage as well. Not bad. All right, so let's go to the next turn then and see what he decides to do. If he attacks my tank, yeah, you might as well just say goodbye, sir, because you just walked into Merlin. <laughs> wow, what? What? Did you see Merlin? Oh, he's got no chill. He's got no chill whatsoever. He was like, oh, yeah, I'm going to decapitate this guy. Anyway, so many bodies. Oh, my. By the gods. By the gods. Focus. Lady O'Grain needs help. Everyone take a breath. No need to add to the body count. So, Uther needs my help. I need to concentrate. It was him. It could only be him. That, in uh, that accursed ingrate tricked me. Uh, well, we don't know exactly what he's talking about right now, but we'll find out. This key was a grain's necklace. Why did she drop it? Where could she be? Uther, the lady is long gone. Take the key and let us leave this wretched place. All right, well, yeah, I will do that. Thanks very much. But what I would like to do first is interact with this. A book of alchemy, an ancient tome about the lost art. This one hasn't been used for quite a while. It's a treatise on the uses of mercury as a catalyst for transmuting a tar-like substance into several resources, from synthetic leather to liquor. Uh-huh. Ah, Wessex, however, still keeps the old art alive, albeit in a sinister way. Whispers of dark magic and gruesome experiments performed on the living are but a few of the rumors. And we'll loot this as well. There we go. And is there anything else that I can do here? Just going to have a look around. No, it doesn't seem like it. All right. So as you can see, we actually did use Uther's shield shove ability completely by mistake. Didn't even see these objectives right now. And otherwise, uh, uncover the dungeon exit. Isn't this what it is? Right here? I think it probably will be soon. More gold. Give me that gold. Mother Terra, a dead end? Lord Leof once spoke of a secret tunnel here. Conveniently hidden among his best wines, eh? Somehow they knew of it. Look at that blood trail. It must be some kind of lever. Okay, yeah, there must be a lever. So that means this one. <laughs> yeah, pretty obvious. 
And that'll do me. I'm out of this hell. Is this it? Where are we headed? How could I be fooled by a vision? Could this be his doing? Igraine, my love, forgive me. My liege, my squire, my home. Farewell. All right, that means that we can now leave. And we are done. Quest complete. Uther and his newly formed party escaped the dungeons of Tamworth Citadel with no sign of Princess Igraine. Amidst failure, the knout, uh, the, the knout, ha, <laughs> the knight vows to make things right. Law found six of six, enemies defeated three, renown 27, bonus renown 10, and gold, good amount of gold too. Let's proceed. Uther and his cohort fled Mercia like rats, grimly realizing everything dear to them was lost, including Princess Ygraine. More than ever, theirs was a broken Britannia, in need of a symbol to inspire change, in need of an omen. No sign of those Wessex bastards, but keep an eye out. We need to leave Mercia at once. Dwan, take heed. Was Lady Ukraine in the throne room with Lord Leof? I, I'm not sure, sire. I was so scared and, well, was, well, uh, it was... Speak some bloody sense, boy. I need answers, not mindless prattle. Hey, no need to be an arsehole and shout out a damn kid. Save your pity, thief. Now listen here, you little... Shut your mouth. Speak only when spoken to, thief. Enough, Uther, she's right. Learn to steer your anger. Tis a powerful feeling. You're not my lord, Merlin. In fact, he's dead because you summoned me and I wasn't there for him. Blaming me, Duane. Where does that get you? You might enjoy playing the rabid dog, but I'd rather hear what the page has to say. Britta and I overheard some soldiers in the dungeon, but they spoke in a strange way. They seemed to be repeating orders, but they mentioned a name over and over. Gorla or something. Gorla? That son of a... Shut up, your raucous lout. Any louder in the citadel will hear us. Fine. Let's move. We'll continue at camp. And here we have the massive map that we are going to be traversing. As you can see, there are a variety of different levels to go to from here. But I think for now, I'm going to be ending this episode off here. If you would like to see more from me and Sword Legacy Omen, then by all means, let me know down in the comments below. Otherwise, you can check out the link in the description if you'd like to buy the game. I thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.